Hi, my name's Vicky and I work for the National Paralympic Heritage Trust. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the sport of boccia. And in order to do so, I think I'm going to share my screen with you and share some images. One of the things I would really, really recommend is that you go on to Boccia UK um, afterwards and have a look because they've got such fantastic information on there and some really good videos. And it kind of gives you an idea of the, the tension in the sport, the skill, the tactics involved in it. So what is Boccia? You can see here there's um, two gentlemen and they are throwing some balls they're throwing balls towards large balls towards another ball different color and trying to get the closest to it but there's all sorts of tactics involved in that kind of hitting each other out of the way now boccia is actually a really really ancient game um, it probably is derived from a game in Greece um, where large stones were thrown at another stone and people aimed to get close to that. But the actual name boccia is derived from an Italian um, word and an Italian game, um, probably pronounced bocci. And uh, that's, you know, the, the name given to the sport today. And it's very similar to patank that is played in France. Uh, and it was played through the Middle Ages and it was also played in Europe as well. But I think one of the funniest stories about it is apparently before the Spanish Armada, um, Francis Drake and Lord Howard were playing a game of boccia, <laughs> waiting for the Spanish Armada to arrive. And Drake insisted on finishing the game before going out to um, face the Armada. So kind of a great story. Now, Boccia kind of got introduced in the 1970s, um, really, into disability sport. And the, it was initially for people with cerebral palsy, but it is now a sport for people with a wide range of um, impairment and neurological impairment. So it's, it's played... At, at various levels and various ways. So in this image here, you can see that the, the men competing are actually using, using their hands to compete. But if I go on to some other images, you can see it's a hugely adaptive sport. And you can see the lady here is using her mouth in it and here using the head. So I think I find it a really, really fascinating sport in that respect. And there's no equivalent of it in the Olympic Games at all. I, it actually became an Olympic sport, sorry, a Paralympic sport for the first time in 1984. And that was when the Games were divided between New York um, and Stoke Mandeville. Um, it's when the Games had nearly been, can well, they had been cancelled. They were supposed to happen in Illinois and they hadn't done the fundraising. So Stoke Mandeville Stadium took all the wheelchair sports and New York took all the other sports, Boccia being one of them. So I just think it's a really exciting sport. It's really worth watching, really having a look at. And it's one of those sports that goes back just, you know, to, like athletes, athletics, goes back to Greece and, I think that that also it's part of that longer history, which I find really fascinating. Well, thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon. Bye.